Hey, 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 what's going on, folks? Welcome back to the neighborhood. I am John, your favorite neighbor kid, and I'm coming back again to play a little bit more Terraria today. You know, last time we left off, I, you know, completely spaced on it. I'm not even sure what we did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were, uh, got, oh, that's when we got on the, all the hearts, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's been a few days since I've recorded. Um, I have been doing some stuff in the interim. And, uh, but before we get to that, uh, like, I'm gonna show you, basically. Uh, but before we really, uh, get into things, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's, who's commented. Thanks to er for everyone who's subscribed and everyone who's just watching. Uh, I, I really do appreciate your support. It's f been phenomenal. It's been phenomenal. And everyone who's, uh, uh, dropped me nice little comments, tips, and stuff. I'm gonna start getting, um, I think I'm gonna start doing what I had been before. Um, in in other games, which is giving shout outs to people who give who give tips that I use and um, and otherwise, you know, because I've been sometimes I, I use parts of tips or whatever, but you know, there's a lot of good ideas flying around. And uh, one of the good ideas that I want to get to using uh, was given by uh, Trip and Alpaca, who who mentioned that uh, we should throw together a uh, you know get all my graves that I that I get from dying and uh, throw them together and make a, a graveyard somewhere. And uh, uh, certain NPCs will actually give you, uh, let, let you buy different stuff. Well, I should prefer to uh, pr prefer to live in that area, or at least under those circumstances at times. So I thought it'd be cool. Maybe we could make some like uh, make a graveyard, make some sort of like um, broken down church or something. You know that sort of thing. Oh my god, I'm dying. Um, uh, but yeah, we can do some fun, a lot of fun stuff with that, and I really appreciate the, uh, the, uh, uh the tip. Um, and hey, if I, I want to also back, do, do a backlog of, um, uh, shoutouts, especially for things that I've used in the past or talked about that I never actually gave credit for. Um, so, uh, kind of keep your eyes peeled, or, uh, even, even drop me a comment. Um, if you, if you gave a tip or something that I used, uh, earlier on, I'll, uh, I'll look back and I'll see if I can find it. But, uh, I, I do ask for permission for that. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, uh, let me know if you want to, want to shout out on camera and, uh, what you would like to be called. If you've got a, uh, <laughs> if you've got a username that's, that's weird or hard, hard to pronounce or, you know, anything like that, you know, give me a heads up. Um, but I will try to contact you myself through uh messages uh replies and, and the like and uh, all about that and all that anyway i've gone on for quite a bit of time here um one thing that i want you know there's a cut there's a few things that have that have, another suggestion that's been made which is is that i think i just saw the eye of cthulhu in the background that's terrifying well that's actually one of the things i want to get to today is try to take on that punk um, I did actually, uh, I did actually end up fighting him, um, off camera on accident because he just kind of showed up because, you know, we got, we have so much life right now. Um, uh, but I figure, you know, it'll show at least one on camera and then I want to, one of the suggestions that I was going to get to saying was, uh, finding Sky Islands. That was actually one of the things that I had intended to do, uh, a while back anyway. That's going to be a little bit trickier, you know, it's going to be a lot more like us kind of me kind of milling around just trying to uh, build up to find a spot where they might be because, you know, there's no real solid indications of of where they they're where they're going to be on the the world map and on, on the normal lower world map. If uh, there's no indication of there, if there's a floating island up above, unless it's a really small map and sometimes you know, you can see sort of the edge of things. Or if there's any spot in particular that you know that there is actually, I wasn't that, that what I was just going to say is if you, if there's any particular spot that you get a lot of, um, you get a lot of falling stars, but then it just kind of stops and you don't get any falling stars at a certain point. That's a pretty good indicator too, because falling stars apparently fall all the way across the map. So they'll hit the, uh, the island first yeah finding floating island and also of course maybe building another house or something something a little bit smaller or something at least quick I uh 
do struggle getting quick abodes going. That is a, it is definitely a downfall. I've been practicing a little on my own, but they've been all very small and the like. Anyway, we do have the option to just fight the Eye of Cthulhu uh, right away, I think. I think we've got some of the eyes floating around some ways. Where do I have those? Oh, let me put this cache away, too. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that could happen. Um, there's a lot of NPCs that we can get right now. I believe. I believe we can get the nurse already. Uh, among other things. Um, I better. There we go. There we go. We'll just grab that right now. And we can always make more of these. Um, we do have to wait a little bit, however, because now it's daytime. So we'll kind of focus our attention and get some. I do actually, I think what I'm going to do right now is explore further ends of the map. We're, uh. We've got this kind of uh, expressway system now that I put together. That I'm going to continue doing uh, as much as I can. I got to the end over there. I got to uh, uh, <laughs> a desert. So that's actually been a little bit of a struggle. But this will help me get, you know, once I continue it out and build it out, I intend to actually go back with, I don't know, another character that's further along um, in, in, you know... In between episodes, you know, in between recordings and stuff off camera and reinforce that so that enemies don't show up in there and, you know, make make proper exits and stuff. But let's go check. Let's see if we can see a particular one side of the map over here. I really hope that this this holds back the uh, corruption. Um, but I want to find any different biomes that we can find around here. Ooh. See if we can get any more uh, fun little... Crap. Uh, fun items and things. Missed. And this is going to be a little bit harder than I originally thought. Especially because I don't have a... Don't have a decent uh, aerial traversal item. Like, a you know, a double jump item. Like cloud in a bottle or anything. Okay, we got through that. That's nice. And this is the furthest we've been on this side. Okay, good, good. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I thought we had gotten further than this. What are you? It's like a tree root or something. I don't know. There we go. Oh, uh-oh. Well, that's problematic. Get another another corruption right over here. That is not great. It's like half corruption. What's going on with this? And eh, nothing particularly great here. Not gonna complain about it. Recall potion though. That will be useful. go I guess this this area got kind of lucky with that how did this spread over here this must have this must be just the other half that I maybe that uh, area of corruption was not as large as it was supposed to be originally 
or this is actually spreading. I don't know, but I think this this area down here, this the the ebonstone kind of areas. I think those are those have to be world gen. So where you can have corruption spreading. Uh, through through the the corrupt seeded uh, corrupt seeded ga grass excuse me God uh, get out of here don't have a double jump right yeah The, the the corrupted crevasse thing is like really tough to manage when you don't have reasonable traversal technique. Hopefully it ends at the uh Yeah, okay. Nice, we got some shiver thorn and Is this technically corrupt oh my god. This is a huge corruption area. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it up like, up there reasonably. Oh, we don't, we, we actually have the recall mirror. That's right. We don't actually need that potion. Woo! Thought I was gonna die. This is huge. This is of an obnoxious size. Unbelievable. Okay, we're finally out of it. That's good. Hopefully there's a chest or something fun around here. Uh, in this part of the snow area. I'd like to find one. Hopefully a blizzard in a bottle or something. Can't remember what the best one is. Sandstorm, I think. What are you? Angry dandelion? What the Christmas pie? Okay, I don't see anything over there. What is going on in this area? This is amazing. This is an amazing looking area. Special over there. Let's try down here. Just this guy. This is where it does it loop around? Looks like it might. Oh. In inclusive. We want to dig around and see if we can find any sort of indication of anything, really. Nope, we're getting too close. Guess we'll skip over this. I don't want to spend too much time faffing around. There we go. There we go. All right. We go right into a desert. So maybe we'll find something fun here. Like whatever is going on down there. I don't know, we can't dig. Hopefully we'll get a, uh, a pyramid or something. This is a nicely shaped desert, actually. 
Got some heavy duty dunes. Very short though, apparently. All right, this seems just weirdly shaped. I kind of want to check this out just to see if there's anything. Doesn't seem like it. This looks amazing. Can't remember. Do have a wood fishing uh, fishing pole. Wood fishing pole. Oh my god! I never bought the the net though. That sucks. Ooh. Okay. So this is where our dungeon is. Good to know. I have not. I have not been to in inside of a dungeon in a very 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 long time. Like uh, me as a player in general. What the hell? What is this thing? Oh. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of changes that have, uh, that it's undergone since the last time. I mean, it's been years. Like, maybe, like, 1.2 or something. I don't even know. Okay, so we're desert again. Good thing we're dealing damage, and we can take the hits, too. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to do. I can't believe I forgot about this. Uh, it's been requested pictures of my dog, so... I wanted to show off how cute she is. So, uh, we'll, we'll do that... ...here-ish, we'll say. There you go. Hopefully you enjoy that cute picture. I was like, I was like, I don't have any pictures of my dog. I gotta take a good picture of my dog. And I'm like, after I do it, after I take a picture and I realize that we should not break these, by the way, this is how you get fairies. Um, I realized after taking a picture that of course I have pictures of my dog. Like 90% of my phone's memory is taken up by pictures of my dog. And this nice little place over here. This is uh, the ocean. And we can't really do anything right, right here right now. Is this as short as... Wow, okay. Yeah, this is a lot bigger... ...than in my... ...in my other game. It's really cool. Bro. Okay, you're gonna die. Probably. Is that a chest? That's a chest! I wanna go check that out. Alright, we can't jump out of here, so we want to get moving. Some light there. Let's see what we got going on. Ooh! I'll take it. I will take it. Yeah, so we went to one side of the map. That's actually pretty cool. And um, I think we'll go check out the other side. And we should be able to get there pretty quickly because I'll recall. And this guy is, of course, another person that we have to... Pengfish? Nice. Good to know. All right, so we're going to want to try to do those quests as well. Um, but let's head back. And, uh, this is almost nighttime. Actually, is it nighttime currently? Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, let's see what my. These are my best weapons. This is my best equipment. Wow. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay, I'll, I'll get rid of some of this stuff real quick. I'll put my cash away and the like. See if this could... Shark fin, nice. Has the ability to swim. The worn in vanity slots. It'd be really helpful. Um. 
let's see if I have any nice items that we could use to... with which to fight... the eye. Any fun little things. Eh, nothing particularly useful. Alright. Might be a little bit shorter of an episode today, too. Just kind of want to keep you... Before I go anywhere. Buy this. Ooh, Corrupt Torch. Ladybug. Ladybug. Let's find a spot. Could be a good place. I just kind of hope for the best. There we go. We're going for it. It's happening. Whether we wanted to or not. And you might not be able to see it very well because the lighting is sparse. And normally I try to make kind of an arena. Let me switch to make sure he's actually focusing properly. This is gonna take so long. Switch to shurikens. On the plus side, we're not taking much damage at all because we're pretty well armored and we have a lot of HP. So our prospects are pretty good. It's just it might take a little while. And then our next order of business pretty much is going to be... I want to jump... I want to actually jump through as many of the uh, basic bosses as we can, make as much progress as we can um, sooner rather than later. Because I know there's so many, there's so much like progress related stuff available afterward, you know, late game thing. I missed a good time to attack this guy. Does he take more damage of the state? Looks like he might. We're almost... Ouch. Okay. What am I... Okay. Anyway, I want to do the... Uh, I want to be the Devourer of Worlds sooner rather than later as well. Because we never even got to do that in, the, in our in our previous uh, vanilla playthrough. Beautiful. We got that. Um, now, I think... We don't, have any, we don't have the scales, but we should be able to get uh, upgraded... Some things. We should be able to upgrade some stuff. Got a lot of... That's not what I wanted. So, like I said, I, I did defeat him previously. Took quite a while. Um... I got some for gold, too, huh? Interesting. Not a whole lot. That's alright. The Eater of Worlds gives you a lot more. Um, usually have to buy... <laughs> you usually have to feed him a few times to get a good amount of stuff out of it. Okay, and unsurprisingly, I'm running out of room. Alright, but let's see what we can make 
right now. Light's Bane, that's going to be extremely useful. And Fisher of Souls, that is going to be something that I'm going to want pretty quick. So I'm going to start doing fishing. And the wood fishing, just, I mean, it's not that great. The wood fishing pole is not that great at all. Um, let's, of course, start with the Light's Bane. That definitely is better than what we've got. And Malay's prop that this is pretty good for right now. I don't I don't think I want to spend the uh don't want to spend the extra for it. So let's go like that. Let's quick stack. Excuse me, let's get some of this stuff out of here. 17%? What? That's weird. Increase movement speed, melee speed. All right, we'll keep all this right now. We've got the better weapon there, and... You know, maybe we can get a better hammer. Realize we got a lot of... Gold armor takes a lot, but <laughs> it takes a lot to get things done with that. Eating like 95 or something. It, I'm used to it being like 75 total for all pieces, but I think they've changed it. Let's go with. Let's get some. Let's get tungsten hammer in here. And, uh. Put our stuff away again. I really have to get some more storage here. For now, just gonna put it over here. Some stuff out of the way. We got we want the rope. This, this. Just want to free up everything that I can. Actually, I want those back. That was an accident. I think we're solid. I think we're pretty solid here. Flipper. Now, what did I normally have here? Because we don't need to have these in that slot. Oh, the shurikens. That's right. Let's see if we have something else to fill that up. We are going to need these. Knives got higher power anyway. I'm... Instead of going directly for the Eater of Worlds, I'm going to start... By going as far right as I possibly can. We'll go hop in our, uh, you know, express train. And head over yonder. Have I not set? Oh, oh, this is just general spawn, right? Okay. General spawn. All right, let's get on the rails. And I think for, for this part coming up here, I might actually have to uh, build kind of upward and have it go over the desert and down. Because I don't know. I don't think you can actually dig through the desert at all. Uh, at least not with friend and not without friends. Powerful device, this this uh, this sword. Ooh, cash. We do some fishing here. I wasn't trying to kill that rabbit, I swear. Ah, oh, man, I missed. There we go. I wonder, there's never anything in the trees, right? Just leaves. 
and weird bushes. I don't know why I'm going over like this. All right, let's see how far we can make it to the right side. Basically, I want to get a double jump item as soon as possible. I mean, that's true, but I want it. I, I do want to have it before trying to get the Eater of Worlds unlocked, so that I can quickly get out of the the chasms. So you got to get down there. You got to break three shadow orbs, and then you got to get out because fighting them in the ca in the caverns is not the most solid of ideas in my opinion if you guys think differently throw it my way because i i happily would give it a shot I, I don't know things some rope and stuff i also don't know what the most solid progression is for this game because I know there's like you know the underground jungle and and the like I also forget that I have damn um but if you guys want to give me like just that just kind of the the ideal rundown of where I should be heading. Um, I am absolutely going to catch this frog. Consumable, huh? Up and down here. An airship. That's super cool. I hope that that's an actual thing you can come across. That would be extra tight. I've also been wondering too, I'm wondering if um, if you see Sky Islands in the background, I'm wondering if that is a, has any indication on what you m might find in that particular area. Okay. Might as well check. Nothing in particular. Hello, friend. She's another one. Oh, you can actually take care, take care of them while they're still hanging out there. That's pretty cool. I thought hitting them knocked their uh, balloon off, or knocked them out their balloon. I know you can pop the balloon too, which is pretty cool. Oh, my dog's about to start barking again. Something has caught her attention. There she is. Oh, I think it's. it's I think there's another dog outside. Oh. Oh, she's so stressed. <laughs> she can't. She can't interact with the dog right now. I'm sad. She's very good with other dogs at the dog park. She has a lot of trouble with other dogs when she's on leash, though. It's very unfortunate. We've been trying to work on it. It's very tough. She's a she's a rescue dog, so she's got. She's got her fair share of, you know, issues. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can get her some treats though. She's having a real rough time. No pun intended. Oh shit, Goblin Scout. Well, that ain't good because I know what I know what that entails, and I am not prepared for that. All right, we're back at it. This is a new recording session, but we're going to continue off. It'll do a little bit uh, about, you know, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes more here. Um, 
we were checking out the side uh, over here, and we actually, if I remember correctly, we were checking out the side, and uh, we uh, happened across a goblin scout. That worried me a little bit. I was going to do some stuff uh, between episodes, or, or rather, between this record or last recording and this one, and uh, I decided maybe it was not the best idea to do that in case, especially in case uh, we get a goblin invasion. In the meantime, I want to show that off. That's, you know, that's, that's fun. It's fun enough. Look at us go! All right. I'm digging the, uh, I'm digging the music. I gotta get a, gotta get a door for this area here. Anyway, I don't know if we're gonna do, like, if we get a goblin invasion, that's probably what we'll do. Uh, otherwise, I'm thinking, um, is start the search for, uh, floating islands. Uh, I might do a little bit of, uh, inventory rehash in the meantime or something. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But first and foremost, let's see how far out we've gotten. Because I don't remember. Yeah, screw that guy. Don't want any of his shenanigans. Let's get let's get moving. Let me make sure that I have a proper weapon out. All right, we got jungle. Probably shouldn't have killed whatever that was. Probably should have caught it. Do I actually even have... I do have it. Okay, that's good. In fact. Now would not be a bad time to do a little bit of collection. While sprouting about. What is that? 15%. That's not too bad. Get out of here. Get out of here! Some blueberries. Yeah, I got a lot of headway to make on that on the uh, subway system. Thank you. And I missed, and I got hurt. Not terribly surprising. All right, so there's probably not a floating island above us. Uh, That's an important distinction to make. Ooh. It's nighttime. Which means harvest. Wonderful. Oh, God. I knew this was going to happen. Got to adjust real quick. Uh, let me see. Do I actually have anything? Let me dig down real quick. Pause on this. I gotta adjust my mic and my headphones. All right, I don't know. How I'm gonna make it out of this. We fine. We got heavy duty weaponry. All right. Nice. Might as well grab this uh, while we're over here. Take care of the bat and get that cash. And that cash. Does that automatically give us? Okay, it must automatically give us a banner. Really? That's the way we went? Okay. That's not the button I wanted to hit. But it's what I hit. That's what we get. Ooh. That's not what I want. Okay, we need a little bit more light on this journey. What? What did I? Oh, that. Okay. All right. All right. All right. 
stands to reason. Let's throw some light down here too. I don't know how much. I, okay, I've got I've got a, a, quite a bit. I've got quite a bit. And then there's glow sticks. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get through this section. Put that up there. Good. There's an edge here. And I fell. Okay. Not terribly surprising. There's a lot of action going on in the dark here. Problematic. There we go, there's a spot, and... Can't see anything. That was not as helpful as I wanted it to be. There we go. We made it a lot further than I thought. Oh. Yeah, Rain's complaining again. There we go. Okay, we're nearing the end here. I'm guessing we did a lot of day traveling. This is, you know, this has only been like a day or two since we actually recorded, but, you know, my memory is bad at the best of times. There we go. This terrain is really cool, though. It's very, it's varied. It's varied, it's nice, it's, it's interesting. It's got a good feel to it, you know? Oh, hey, money. I like money. You like money, too? We should hang out sometime. All right, making progress here. There we go. More stars. Excellent. Glorious. I wonder if that means that, like, in that last section we were at, that there's... Cause there's a whole bunch of stars over here, right? I wonder if that means there's a possibility of having a uh, an island over there. Just go back through during the night and figure that out. And and I did look it up. These uh, these trees have no significance. They're just they're just nifty little. Uh... Oh oh oh! Displeased dog. Displeased dog. Sassy dog, as we like to call her. Um, let's get this guy out of the way here. Goodness. They are just falling like, well, I guess stars. There's another log there. Not a whole lot of interesting stuff happening right now. May have to cut some of this out. I mean, you've all seen me collect stars before. Nothing, nothing terribly interesting. Ooh, hello. Two, interesting. Very good. This is not. And we're at the edge, I think. Yeah, this is the, the that that looks definitely like ocean to me. And this guy is a jerk. Get out of here. You too. I'm at it from the side so we can get above it. There we go. You know what? Here, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and build a little bridge. I'm gonna screw it up first, though. Because that seems to be par for the course. Ouch. Let's see. That should be perfect. 
get it aligned and over. There we go. That's that's good enough. Nice, nice. All right. Oh, I've never actually seen this before. I'm guessing that this this one's going to be a little bit shorter. I don't know. I, I don't know how to read the map on this. Is it going to just... Yep, okay, okay. We just hit the end. All right, good. Good to know. This is actually really cool, though. I, I, I'm really liking this kind of new terrain sort of situation here. What is this? Shell pile. Okay, that's the thing you can make with with shells and and the like. I know I I experimented a little bit. Grab some things here. Uh, but I haven't I hadn't actually seen uh, shell piles in play. This is not the best place for us to be right now. Alright, okay, I think we've explored both sides of the map. That actually means we can bring ourselves back and let's drop some stuff off and see if we can... Actually, let's... Nope. Nope. There we go. There's a bunch of things here that uh, I know that we don't have available otherwise that won't store up properly. Quick stack, quick stack. Quick stack. Frog and a grub. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to do was... Jungle grass seeds, interesting. One of the things I wanted to do was uh, actually, you know, readjust this, um, move some things around, and make maybe make a place for... Uh, maybe actually make a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, treasury, what have you. Something to hold our things. And another thing that I thought of was maybe I should grab, um, get, buy a couple more or a few more of these piggy banks. Because, you know, the piggy banks are, this links into an extension of your actual inventory, of your actual character inventory. So anybody who looks at it, you know. You didn't already know this anybody who looks at a piggy bank they're looking at a part of their own inventory so um uh you know as opposed to if you're playing multiplayer and you're looking at a chest anybody who looks into one chest will see the same stuff whereas if you look into the piggy bank you'll see different stuff okay, different people will see different things um but if we get multiple piggy banks and spread them around that means that we can have kind of like a multi-dimensional or a, a dimensional storage thing. You know, it's basically like a pocket thing, like a portal to a particular uh, storage slot. So we could buy a couple of these, I think. And then we can put them at um, junctions in our, in our railroad line and go from there. Oh. Well, she's not barking at anything particular, so that's good. Um, we are, you know, we got we got the exploration done. There's nothing particularly special going on right now. Um, well, let's. Uh, what do I want to say? What, what, what am I gonna go with? Let's do. I just I do, did want to finish up a little bit of building down here and uh, maybe even here. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We're gonna put. Some dirt there. We got the wood. Let's even that out. And then I wanted to have a little bit of... Just a wee bit. Damn. That's not what I wanted to do. Where is our stuff? I need to... I definitely have to go through and organize some things. Tell you what. Tell you what. Oh, here we go, and I think we did, I don't know, what did we do, wood background? We did either wood or our planked stone background. 
It's just a little tail end. Oh, yeah. Now there's someone outside. Now there's another dog outside. I can tell she's she's at attention. She's on. She's sitting basically right next to me. You'll be able to hear her a lot better now. She's not barking from across the room. And we don't actually have any planked walls, looks like. Um, but this is, yeah, this is a good place to end it right now. We'll uh, get back to it later. Do some uh, island, you know, searching for some islands. Maybe uh, see if we can't get in to tackle the uh, the Eater of Worlds or something. You know, go delve into the into the corruption. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is a good place. Uh, you know the drill, though. If you like me, if you like the channel, if you want to help out a little bit, like, comment, subscribe. I really really absolutely do appreciate the feedback it's been fantastic i love hearing from you guys so you know leave me a message uh if you got any tips or tricks uh, i will i will absolutely try to re respond and definitely ask you about um if you want to shout out on camera if if it's something that i'm going to use um or otherwise you know if it's just a good idea something that everyone needs to hear on camera um <laughs> i'll throw it that way so uh, be sure to respond if i do say something like that um Anyway, with that, thanks for checking out the video. From my house to yours, I'm John the Neighbor Kid, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.